Hello, my name is Christian Cook. I'm a tenured professor of medicine at the University of Mississippi Medical Center, and my co-authors are Dr. Yula, board certified in sleep medicine, and PharmD Daniel Reich. Fast facts about testosterone include that low testosterone can be seen in many men with obesity and many men with diabetes. It roughly affects 5 million of men, and only 5% of those receive testosterone replacement therapy. Too low testosterone levels, but also too high testosterone levels, can be detrimental. Most men receive, more than 70% actually, testosterone replacement therapy by gel. It is important to remember that gel versus injectable testosterone formulations are more expensive. The hypothalamopituitary-conatal axis is influenced by many factors, including estradiol, also in men. The TIMES-2 study has shown that men with hypogonadism, type 2 diabetes, and or metabolic syndrome benefit from transdermal testosterone replacement, mainly by improved insulin resistance, cholesterol, and of course, sexual aspects. In our article, we review symptoms and signs of male hypogonadism, and we propose an algorithm in which we first would say you should exclude other problems that could influence testosterone levels, such as sleep apnea, which affects many men and women with obesity. Once sleep apnea is treated, testosterone levels might normalize. We propose a level of total testosterone exceeding 350 nanograms as abnormal and a treatable level. In this article, we compare different transdermal testosterone formulations, including androgel 1%, 1.62%, axiron, fortesta, and testim 1%. We also review their kinetics, and we would like to point out that the aim for a total testosterone level by the Endocrine Society Clinical Practice Guideline is between 400 and 700 nanograms for all testosterone formulations. Potential side effects of such therapy, in our opinion, include mainly polycythemia. A hematocrit exceeding 45% raises blood viscosity and therefore can cause thrombosis, stroke, and other bad problems. Men age 35 and older experience a decline in total testosterone, as shown in this study, mainly by obesity. Obesity is an epidemic these days, and we all know metabolic syndrome increases mortality by a high cardiovascular risk, and that's caused by reduced fitness and muscle mass. What's not so much known that a normal BMI can also be metabolically unhealthy because of reduced fitness and muscle mass. Therefore, we need to work on increasing fitness and muscle mass. In our article, Endocrine Hypertension, we propose an addiction to food, sweet, and salt. And we also published recently a book in the series Contemporary Endocrinology, Springer publisher, Humana Press, on endocrine hypertension, which is influenced by various neuroendocrine alterations in obese patients, such as an increase in catabolic hormones, including cortisol, and a decline in anabolic hormones, such as growth hormone and testosterone. Testosterone deficiency is a risk factor for cardiovascular disease, as reviewed by us in an article from 2011, and its replacement might reduce that risk by increasing insulin sensitivity and lean muscle mass. Most men with a testosterone level below 230 nanogram benefit from testosterone replacement. It's important to remember that reference ranges of testosterone levels should also regard estradiol levels in men. Recently, the New England Journal of Medicine published on this topic pointing out that estrogen deficiency in men is associated with an increased body adiposity. So estrogens are not just female hormones. When replacing testosterone, an effect can be expected after three to six weeks regarding inflammatory markers, regarding glycemic control after three months, and regarding lean muscle mass after six months or more. Thank you.